I decided to be an astronaut on July 20th, 1969, because that's the night that Neil and Buzz walked on the moon while Mike was orbiting around. And uh, I was nine, almost 10. And I watched it over at a neighbor's place. We didn't have a TV. And over at a neighbor's place, watched that whole bunch of people crowded in the living room, walked outside, looked up at the moon, and in my little nine-year-old boy's brain said, wow, I'm, I'm gonna grow up to be something. I think I wanna grow up to be that. That looks like an interesting thing to do with my life. And so I consciously decided, well, you're like a million other kids, but I consciously decided on, uh, on that night. So I was very much inspired uh, by the early pioneers in space, by the early explorers, and by the tremendous capability that comes with a challenge like, uh, like space flight. When I decided to be an astronaut, it wasn't hard, it was impossible. I'm Canadian. There was no Canadian astronaut program. We didn't have a space agency at the time. It was completely impossible. But I had a look at what Neil and Buzz and Mike had done. I looked at what Yuri Gagarin and Alexei Leonov had done. And I thought, well, if I start heading my life that direction, we'll see what the future brings. And there were all sorts of setbacks along the way. It wasn't a linear process at all. It was nothing but dead ends and guessing and trying. But here I stand, uh, whatever, 42 years later, having flown in space twice on two different space shuttles and now going to launch on one of the same sort of spaceships that Alexei Leonov and Yuri Gagarin launched on and going to go live on the space station. I command the International Space Station. Um, so uh, sometimes inspiration and, and dead ends can lead to a pretty amazing life of dreams. Uh, launch takes a little under nine minutes. Uh, the first thing you want to do is look out the window because you want to see what it looks like. You want to see a, the black, black sky and the horizon and then all of the earth below you. And it's amazing. You launch out of Florida, but by the time you can get to the window, you're over Europe. You know, by the time you can get a camera out, you're looking at Central Europe. And I calculated and realized that 90 minutes after launch, with the world turning underneath me, 90 minutes, just an hour and a half, we'd come over the town I was born in, in Canada, and we were going to drive right down the highway, basically, that led from the town I was born in to where my parents lived, to where I grew up, and uh, where I learned to fly. And so I had that time. My watch went off about 80 minutes after launch, and uh, had the camera ready. And, and so my really first good look at Earth was one orbit later, as I had my camera ready, because things go by at five miles a second, and watching the town where I was born and my family's cottage and, and all that history that was really important for me just rolling inexorably underneath me. Um, and the speed of it and the quickness with which we'd come around the planet. Uh, I only had a few minutes because we had a lot of work to do, but I took the time to look at where I was from to try and put it all into perspective for myself.